the Tao that can be spoken is not the eternal Tao. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Those who know do not speak, those who speak do not know. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. The wise man is one who knows what he does not know. The best fighter is never angry. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. To the mind that is still, the whole universe surrenders. Knowing others is wisdom, knowing yourself is enlightenment. He who knows enough is enough will always have enough. Simplicity, patience, compassion, these three are your greatest treasures. Water is the softest thing, yet it can penetrate mountains and earth. This shows clearly the principle of softness overcoming hardness. Be content with what you have, rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. The sage does not hoard. The more he helps others, the more he benefits himself. The way to do is to be. The world is ruled by letting things take their course. The flame that burns twice as bright burns half as long. Give evil nothing to oppose, and it will disappear by itself. Act without expectation. The Tao gives birth to all beings, nourishes them, maintains them, cares for them, comforts them, protects them, and takes them back to itself. Embrace simplicity, patience, and compassion as your greatest virtues. The key to growth is the introduction of higher dimensions of consciousness into our awareness. When you let go of what you are, you become what you might be. The master observes the world, but trusts his inner vision. In the pursuit of knowledge, every day something is added. In the practice of the Da, every day something is dropped. The softest things in the world overcome the hardest things in the world. True mastery can be gained by letting things go their own way. It cannot be gained by interfering. To realize that you do not understand is a virtue, not to realize that you do not understand is a defect. Be still like a mountain and flow like a great river. The supreme good is like water, which nourishes all things without trying to. It is content with the low places that people disdain.